The bubble table element has been in beta for over 18 months and here's everything that I tell my one-to-one -one bubble coaching clients when they're trying to weigh up should they be using a repeating group or should they be using a table. But before I launch into that, if you've got any burning bubble questions and you really want to accelerate the development of your app, then head over to our website and click the link in the description because we've built an amazing tool that allows you to query hundreds of our bubble tutorials, all of our tutorials, all of our course content, just like as if you were asking ChatGPT and you'll get an answer and you'll get recommended videos from our library to help really accelerate your bubble app development process. But let's just dive into a quick demo here. I've got the same data, a repeating group and a table, and it's showing data that looks like this. It's just a uh, data type in my database called contacts. So let's weigh up the pros and cons. The main benefit of the table element is your ability to ensure that all of your columns and all of your rows nicely align. It isn't terribly responsive. But if you're building a dashboard or uh, yeah, like a dashboard app in Bubble uh, and it's for desktop users, then tables are going to be really useful. Now, that's the end of the table benefits because frankly, tables should operate uh, on a feature parity with repeating groups and they don't. So here comes the list of shortcomings. Number one, tables don't support pagination. If I have a repeating group and I restrict the number of rows to four, I can add in a button uh, and I can go to workflow and then I can say uh, on element actions, I can go to show uh, next of a repeating group and uh, it automatically targets the repeating group and so it knows that it can only show four records in the repeating group and then I can add in a button to go forward and I can add in a similar button to go back and so I have pagination. That just isn't available and that's because the table element is still in beta and uh, frankly I think Bobble have been prioritizing other things. Hopefully we'll be getting the native app builder as a public release soon but it does seem that tables have been left in the dust uh, for the last 18 months. Now, when tables first came out, I did do a video showing how you can add pagination, pagination to a table, but frankly, it is an inefficient workaround. It is having to do multiple queries to the database. You're basically having to count through the number of rows in your table manually uh, and do multiple searches, and it's not going to be workload efficient in any way. So if you need pagination on the table, it can be done. You might find it a little bit buggy, and it certainly isn't optimized uh, in terms of workload units. And that's just because Bubble doesn't have the workflow the uh, workflow actions in order to paginate through table data so then the impact is that if you are loading in hundreds of records uh, you're basically depending on bubble's own internal self optimization and you can you can of course limit how many uh, you know you can say search for contacts uh, show items until say 20 and that limits it down to 20 but you're then having to add in, like I say, this convoluted way of um, uh, replacing the table data with the next 20. So from 21 to 40, I suppose that would be. It's just not efficient. And it really is a shame because it's so much easier to line things up with tables. So if we go back to repeating groups, you can, and this is what we had to do before the table element was around, you can of course line up elements in a repeating group. And I'll give you a quick demo of just how we would do that. Um, so if we go to uh, layout, and we'll just make this fixed width uh, 100%, and then uh, we'll add in a group above because we, we need to manually add in our own header group. So that's going outside of my repeating group. Uh, and so what you would do is you would just take, say, text, and you'd have to use fixed width here, or at least consistent percentages. I'd probably go with fixed width pixel values. So we would write in name, and then we would make everything, we're making our own manual name column, just ensuring that it's all the same width. So that way when you add in, I'm gonna make this a row. Uh, for example, what other data do we have here? We can say country. Uh, and let's just say that country needs to be, we know that it takes up more space. So, ooh, I was gonna go for that. Uh, and then you would copy and paste this, make uh, make the contain, sales container into a row. 
uh, and then you you just need to make sure that all of the widths are consistent so that they all line up consistently. So that's it. That, that isn't a perfect solution. I wish that tables uh, had that feature parity with repeating groups, but they don't. I would say if you're dealing with, here's my top tips. If you're dealing with big databases, I would use repeating groups because they are more optimized in terms of load time, adding in things like pagination. If you just, if you know you only need to show a small number of records and you want to kind of get your hands dirty with custom pagination, uh, then you can use uh, the table element. But here's one up, final tip. Um, there are alternatives, of course, in the, um, the plugin directory. And there was one by, yeah, this one here by, uh, it was by uh, Timo, but now uh, he, uh, he sold uh, a lot of his plugins, if not all of them, to Zero Code. Uh, and this is a beautiful table plugin, let me show you. Now I would stipulate that the way that a lot of the table and chart plugins work in Bubble is that you just have to generate uh, a list of entries and ensure that that list is the same for every column in the database. So. Look, here out of the box, you get the ability to search a table. Okay, and it returns results. Uh, you get all of these additional fields built in. You can kind of do rich text at, um, rich text bits. So I, I, I demoed this plugin um, back before it was purchased by Zero Code. And from the looks of it, I would still rate it if you need to be able to search through data uh, on the table. So that is the data table slash grid plugin by zero code. Now if you've got any questions about this you can either leave a comment down below or of course you can head over to our website become a member and then you can uh, ask questions and search with the help of AI and of course our team are on hand for support also.